friends! Welcome to GMAT Tuesdays. My name is Kevin, and I'm coming to you from Magoosh. And today we're looking at a fundamental math property and something that students tend to confuse um, and make a mistake with. So that's where we're starting with, with the mistake. So um, as you can see, the question is, what's the error? And I wrote this problem on the board and some student solved the problem. They thought that they got it right, but they got it wrong, actually. So the question says, uh, solve this equation for y. Um, so the equation is 10y squared minus 10x squared equals 250. So first, they're dividing by 10 on either side, which is good to simplify the problem. So then they end up with y squared minus x squared equals 25. Then they add x squared to both sides to eliminate um, and get y by itself on one side. Then they get y squared equals x squared plus 25, and they take the square root of all of it to end up with y equals x plus 5. Do you think you see the mistake? Did you see it? Is it up here? No, it's down here. This is the big mistake. No, 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 don't do this. The are confusing um, the distributed property of uh, multiplication and division with addition and subtraction. Um, so the rule is you cannot, cannot, so square root of p plus q cannot do this. You just can't break it apart and take the square root of each individual item there. And that's what they did here. Really what they were thinking was like, oh, x squared, well, I take the square root of that and I get x. And if I take the square root of 25, I get 5. So they're thinking, oh, I'll just take x squared and 25. If I can write it properly, let's write it better. 25. And then I get my answer. But you can't do that. It's just not the rule. It does work, however, if you have p times q and put that under a square root. Then you can take the square root of each item that is there. Um, and there's a really good way to remember this. If we think about the Pythagorean theorem, the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now, Mr. Pythagoras was not a cruel and evil person who wanted to make things more difficult for us. It wasn't like he decided to make it a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and it could actually be a plus b equals c. They're not the same thing. You can't take the square root of this side to get a plus b. That's just not how it works. So always think about the Pythagorean theorem. You can't simplify this to a plus b equal c. If we could, we probably would. You know, we, math can be difficult enough. We try to simplify as much as possible. But in this case, uh, Mr. Pythagoras has given us the easiest version. Um, so remember that when you're adding or subtracting, excuse me, adding or subtracting, you cannot take the square root of both of the items that are there. All right, so that is our math foundation rule for the day. Um, we'll put a link below the video so that you can go and uh, read more about this math fact. Um, I'll be back next Tuesday. Uh, be excellent to the universe, uh, and I'll see you next Tuesday.